Good morning. Six people have been killed in a devastating siege on an isolated Queensland property. The two young police officers murdered in cold blood have been identified. Constable Rachel McCrow, aged 26, and Constable Matthew Arnold, aged 29, were gunned down at the property in the western Darling Downs, about three hours west of Brisbane. The officers were attending the location as part of a missing persons report. It is an extremely emotional and challenging time for the Queensland Police Service. Losing one of our own has a profound impact on every single officer and their families. To lose two officers in one incident is absolutely devastating. A neighbour, now identified as Alan Dare, was also shot and killed in the attack, which sparked a massive manhunt for the offenders. Special Operations Police shooting dead three suspects, including brothers Nathaniel and Gareth Train, and a third female, Stacey Train. Live now to Bianca Stone in Chinchilla. Bianca, what more do we know about the circumstances of this tragic siege? Angie, good morning to you. The more we learn about this, the more unbelievably horrendous it becomes. How did a principal, a primary school principal, become a cop killer? Police went to that address after a missing person report. They were looking for Nathaniel Train, a 46-year-old man who was missing from New South Wales. He was last seen in Dubbo about 12 months ago. In the recent months, he had lost contact with his family. Now, police went there believing he was there with his brother. Four police turned up in two separate cars. Two police officers hopped out of those cars, jumped at the fence, and that's when they were immediately fired upon by three people from within that house with high-powered weapons. As you say, those officers have been identified as 29-year-old Rachel McCrow, 26-year-old Matthew Arnold. Neither of those had been in the job for too long. Their colleagues witnessed them be executed, but they still had the sense of mind to call it in to other officers to raise the alarm. While try under a hail of bullets, they were trying to protect themselves. Uh, it was Randall Kirk, a male officer who was shot in the leg. He received a, a graze to his leg. He hid behind a tree, then jumped into the police vehicle, still being fired upon uh, by those offenders and managed to raise the alarm. While a first year constable, Keely Bruff, managed to get into bushland and hide from those attackers they continued firing upon her. She was radioing back to police all that time, telling them exactly what was going on, that these people in camouflage were firing at police officers and there were officers down. Incredible bravery from that officer who had just been in the job for around eight weeks. They were so young, so young. They were incredibly brave. These were absolutely callous, brutal acts and with honour they served. Hopefully it will give the QPS family some comfort to know that the people of this state absolutely respect and appreciate every single thing that they do. I can only think for uh, Matthew and Rachel's families and close colleagues, the hurt and the pain they are going to go through as we lead into Christmas, which is only 12 days away. He has started laying flowers in memory of the officers and neighbour who lost their lives. Angie, they have these police officers were not just police officers in this community, but they were part of the community as well. And as you mentioned, the neighbour who came to those police officers' aid, who was shot dead at that scene as well, people have begun coming here, laying flowers, the old, the young, school children uh, coming in here to pay their respects to all of these officers. We would expect that to continue through the day. This is being felt uh, here in the Chinchilla community, right the way around Queensland and around Australia right now, as people pay their respects to these young, incredibly brave police officers who have lost their lives. Bianca Stone, thank you. And flags will fly at half-mast at all government buildings in Queensland today as a mark of respect for the two officers killed in the siege. Staff have lowered flags at the state's police headquarters at Roma Street as well as at State Parliament in the city and Government House in Paddington.